We only have one world, and we're all responsible for looking after it for future generations. That includes reducing greenhouse gases that come from cars, factories, chemical refrigerants, and from producing electricity. And when it comes to electricity and your power bill, it's estimated that keeping a home, office, building, or cold room cool is responsible for 60% of it. But there's a simple solution that saves you a substantial amount of money and lowers greenhouse gas production. N-Gas Hydrocarbon Refrigerants, the natural way to cool the world. Unlike chemical refrigerants, they're environmentally friendly, non-toxic, non-ozone depleting and cost efficient. What sets us apart is that a lot of our hydrocarbon refrigerants are blended. They're not just single element refrigerants, they're blended. And the reason they're blended is so that they perform extremely efficiently. And so we get um, energy savings between 15% and now we've got a new refrigerant we've developed which uh, achieves a 50% reduction in amps. Selwyn Wallace has been a refrigeration engineer for more than three decades and first heard about hydrocarbons in the early 2000s. This is the future of refrigeration systems for Australia and for the world. By converting to hydrocarbon refrigerants, the savings are enormous and normally the payback period is around 24 months or less. Whereas uh, if, we, if you compare it to solar, solar industry, a lot of their paybacks are seven, eight, nine, ten years. And N-Gas natural refrigerants aren't just up to 50% more efficient than chemical refrigerants, they're more reliable because there's less pressure on the coolers, which extends their operating life. The take-up is increasing fairly rapidly now, and it's due to the education and people doing their own research. Education is a slow process, but with natural refrigerants, we've got truth on our side, we've got nothing to hide. For Daryl Tedesco, keeping his fruit and vegetables fresh is vital. They look fantastic. They're very sweet. In 2007, Daryl installed a new cool room that runs on N-Gas natural hydrocarbons. Economically, I noticed that once I built that new room and, uh, and my electricity bill didn't even go up as much as what I uh, expected it to. In fact, my electricity bill didn't go up that much at all. After seven years, it hasn't required any repairs and consistently outperforms his other cool rooms, especially as the temperature outside rises. The other rooms you can't leave open at all. They frost up, they don't perform, they struggle to get to temperature. In fact, they don't make temperature on a 40 degree day. They'll sit there at about eight degrees when they should be sitting at four degrees. Over the past three decades, billions of dollars have been spent to phase out harmful chemical refrigerants and replace them with natural and environmentally friendly alternatives, just like NGAS. In 2014, the European Parliament voted that climate-unfriendly fluorinated gases should be banned in new refrigerators and air conditioners by 2025. And the use of potent chemical hydrofluorocarbon greenhouse gases is to be reduced by 79% by 2030. There's no reason not to, to use hydrocarbon refrigerants in the majority of, of refrigeration or air conditioning applications. Already, almost two-thirds of large supermarkets surveyed in northern and western European countries, including Germany, France, Denmark, Norway and the United Kingdom, are using natural refrigerants in their stores. We've got one mining company here in Western Australia, uh, 900 k's north east of Perth, and they've converted over 3,000 systems. They started four years ago. Um, they've saved an average of 22% on their power consumption. Arthur Pelicanos is the former state president and member of the Australian Institute of Refrigeration, Air Conditioning and Heating. He designed and manufactured a hydrocarbon cooled water chiller with four compressors that operate on N-gas refrigerant, saving this pharmaceutical laboratory 30% on their electricity bill. We had to control not only temperature, but we had to control relative humidity, uh, the cleanliness of the facility, um, it had to come up to the Therapy Goods Administration requirements. Already, NGAS is distributing its natural refrigerants in Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, the Philippines, China and Fiji, and the company is looking to expand into other countries. Steve Brayshaw specialises in replacing chemical refrigerants 
with NGAS natural refrigerants. The bigger your power bill is and the bigger the plant you've got, technically the bigger that saving we can give you. Steve's already met officials in Fiji where the power is unreliable and diesel generated. If you took a, a whole suburb and could reduce the power in several buildings, then that reduces a lot of the, the power going into that grid. Across the country, you could reduce that enormously. And of course, reducing the power used will save in diesel. Dave Newen's business also specialises in converting air conditioners that run on chemical refrigerants with natural N-gas refrigerants. Because N-gas have done such a good job in, in engineering their gases, it's a direct drop-in. It's compatible with the oils, it's compatible with all the compressors. It reduces the wear and tear because it reduces the pressures. Whether it's to keep food fresh, cool an entire building, your home, your office or your car, N-gas refrigerants are the safe and natural choice. Make the switch. N-gas natural refrigerants are a viable, safe, efficient alternative to chemical refrigerants and importantly, save you money and the environment. <laughs>